how to publish Android app on Play Store. Millions of active users swarming your app daily, thrusting it into the global limelight. That's the dream, isn't it? And the Google Play Store, it's like the ultimate launch pad for that rocket ride to success. But here's the catch. Reality isn't always as dreamy. Would you believe that over 80% of apps face rejection during what should be a simple upload process? Crazy, right? It could be something as silly as missing a screenshot or a tiny technical hiccup, but bam, your app's journey hits a snag. Now, here's where my team and I at Copper Digital step in. Hello folks, I'm Arvind Sareen, the chairman and CEO of Copper Digital. With over 14 years of legacy, we've seen it all. The highs, the lows, and everything in between. We've built and launched more apps than I can count learning from each success and stumbling along the way. Think of the Play Store as a treasure trove packed with potential customers, but getting in, it's like cracking a safe. You've got regulations tighter than a drum, competition breathing down your neck, and user reviews that can make or break you. But hey, fear not. Today, we're going to dive into the nitty gritty of Google Play Store. We'll unravel its mysteries and concoct a strategy that doesn't just launch your app, it catapults it to the top, making it a force to be reckoned with in the market. This isn't just about a one-time launch, it's about building an empire, a thriving ecosystem where your app reigns supreme. So let's get started. Before jumping directly to uploading your Android app to the Google Play Store, it's crucial to ensure all necessary preparatory steps are completed. The first one is high quality screenshots. These are your app's first impressions, so make them shine. Crystal clear visuals showcasing your app's coolest features are key. Remember, people do judge the book or app by its cover. Now, you'll also need a compiled APK or the app bundle. This is your app, neatly packaged and ready to go. Double check that you have the latest, greatest version on hand. We wouldn't want any last minute glitches on the launch day, would we? Here's how to create it. Number one, get Android Studio up and running. This is your trusty companion for app development. Number two, build your app. Once your app is coded and ready, go to build in the menu and select build bundle or APKs. Sign your app. This adds a security layer. In the same build menu, choose Generate Signing Key. Follow the instructions to create a key store and a key. Remember to keep this key store safe. It's like your app's secret handshake. Number four, enabling signing. Back in the build menu, select Build Bundle APK again. This time, choose Android App Bundle and enable Zip Align. Number five, also be mindful of Google Play's 200 MB app size limitation. If your application exceeds this limit, explore strategies for digital decluttering, such as eliminating unnecessary code or resources. Think of it as a pre-launch optimization process to enhance your app's performance. Oh, and for those of you with developer accounts established after November 13, 2023, an additional step is mandatory. Conducting a closed test with a minimum of 20 testers who have been actively opted in for testing for a continuous period of 14 days. This crucial testing phase allows you to identify and address any potential issues before your app's public release. Launching your app on the Google Play Store starts with creating a developer account. Head to the Play Console and sign in with your Gmail. Choose individual or organization depending on your situation. Next, get creative and choose a developer name. To verify your identity, link a payment method, one-time fee. They'll also ask for a developer email address for your user communication. Tell them if you've used the Play Console before and share your app website, if you have one. Indicate how many apps you plan to launch and how users will access them, free, paid, or mixed. Finally, choose your app category. Provide contact details. Accept terms, pay the $25 fee, and you're ready to publish. Moving on, it's time to actually get your app live on the App Store. Think of it as the big premiere. All the prep work has been done, and now it's showtime. Let's walk through it together step by step. First, you'll need to open the Play Console. Once you're in, it's like hitting the Create App button on your Creative Spark. Starting with the essentials, your app title. Keep it brief, less than 30 characters and informative. Utilize keywords that precisely represent your app's purpose and target audience. This is what the user will encounter in search results, so make it impactful. Next, 
Play Console will ask you to pick a default language. This is basically the language your app will wear on its sleeve initially. Don't worry, you can change it later if needed. Next, Play Console will ask if you're creating an app or a game. This might seem obvious, but hey, who knows, maybe you've built a revolutionary app game hybrid. No worries though, you can adjust this down the line too. Now comes the big question, free or paid? This is where you decide if your app will be a gift to the world or a revenue stream. Finally, Play Console will ask you for an email address where users can reach you if they have any questions about your app. Think of it as your in-app customer service hotline. Now, for some housekeeping, there will be a section called declarations. It's basically the legalese part where you just acknowledge things like Google's developer policies and US export laws. No worries, it's pretty standard stuff. There's also something called Play App Signing Terms of Service. This is basically Fort Knox security for your app signing key. Highly recommend it. Once you've checked all the boxes and filled in the blanks, hit that glorious Create App button. And voila, you've officially started the process of getting your app live on the Play Store. All right, App Warriors, it's time to navigate the Google Play Console dashboard, your masterpiece on the Play Store. First up, we have the internal testing. Optional, but awesome. Let's you deploy your app to a select group for early feedback. Think of it as a dress rehearsal before the big show. Now let's move on to the crucial step, setting up your app. This is where you craft the information that will make your app shine on the Play Store. We'll tackle this step by step. Privacy policy. Users deserve to know how their data is handled. Provide a link to your published policy for complete transparency. App access. Does your app need special permissions like access to photos? If your app is a simple one, you can choose all functionality available without access restrictions. Ads. Does your app contain ads? Select yes or no based on your plan. Content rating. Help Google understand your app's content with a quick questionnaire. This ensures they assign the appropriate age rating. Target audience. Who are your ideal users? Selecting the right age group helps target the right people and ensures you comply with the stricter policies for younger audience. New app COVID-19 tracing government apps financial features. Simple yes or no selections depending on your app's purpose. Data safety form. Is your app a news app? Does it deal with finances? Answer these simple questions to provide clarity. Preview. Get a sneak peek of how your app listing will look on the Play Store. All right, superstars, you've conquered those initial steps. But before we hit the launch button, there are two more things to consider. This is all about managing how your app is organized and presented to the users on the Play Store. Think of it like setting up a storefront. First, you need to categorize your app and provide your contact details. This helps users find your app and know who to reach out if they have questions. Here's what you'll need to fill in. App category. Imagine your app in a shelf in a giant store. Which aisle would it be in? Select a category that best describes your app's function like productivity, games, and so forth. You can also add a few relevant tags to help people discover it. Tags, these are keywords that help people find your app. Choose a few relevant ones to sprinkle in like magic dust. Contact details, this is where people can reach you with questions or feedback. Think of it as leaving out your name and number for party goers. You can include your email address, website, and even a phone number, which is optional. Next, let's design your app storefront window. This is where you'll set up your store listing. This is also where you'll create the first impression that convinces users to download your app. Here's what you'll need to fill in. App name. This is your app's title. So make it catchy and descriptive. Keep it short and sweet. Though, you only have 30 characters to work with. Short description. Think of it as a quick elevator pitch for your app. What does it do and why should someone care? You have 80 characters to grab their attention. Full description. Here's where you can dive deeper and explain all the awesome features of your app. Sell it to the users. You've got 4,000 characters to play with. Graphics. This is where you'll add the eye candy that'll make your app stand out. App icon. This is your app's tiny picture on the Play Store. Make it clear and visually appealing. Screenshots. These are like little windows in your app. Showcase the coolest features and user interface with high quality screenshots. There are sections for phone screenshots, tablet screenshots, and even Chromebook screenshots. Additionally, you can add a trailer or explainer video from YouTube. Remember, the more details and visuals you provide, the easier it'll be for the users to understand and love your app. Don't skip out on these. They're crucial for a successful launch. Almost there, App Warriors. We've navigated the Play Console like champs. 
And now it's time for the real thrill, getting your app into the hands of users worldwide. This is your app's Hollywood premiere, so let's make it unforgettable. Choose your release strategy. Think of this as deciding how to launch your product in the real world. There are two main options for app releases on Google Play. Internal testing, as mentioned earlier, this lets you share your app with a limited group of testers for initial feedback. It's a great way to catch any bugs or usability issues before wider release. And the next one is closed testing. This is like conducting a beta test with a more targeted group of users who represent your ideal audience. They can provide valuable feedback on your app's features and functionality before it's available to the public. Number two, create a release. This is production. Once you're comfortable with the state of your app, it's time to prep for the public. In the Play Console, you'll hit the Create Release button and choose Production. This signifies you're ready to release your app on the Google Play Store. Number three, upload your Android app bundle, AAB, Beam Me Up. Remember, that awesome Android app bundle, AAB, you created, it's time to upload it to the Play Console. Navigate to your app listing and find the upload section. This is where the magic happens. Consider it beaming your app directly onto the Play Store servers, ready for users to discover. Number four, refine your launch details, name and shine, release name. Give your release a clear and descriptive name. Example, version 1.0 public launch. Release notes, craft compelling release notes that highlight new features bug fixes, and any important information for users. This is your chance to show users why they should be excited about this update. Number five, roll out the red carpet or green button, publishing your app. Once you've meticulously reviewed everything, you're ready for the grand reveal. Click the big green button that says review and publish release. Google will review your app for any policy violations. This can take a few hours to a few days. So buckle up and get ready to celebrate your upcoming launch. And with that folks, your app is live on the Google Play Store. This is a huge milestone. But remember, it's just a launch pad for success. Now it's time to shift gears. Unleash your marketing plan and get the word out. Make some noise about your app and why it's the next big thing. But don't stop there. Once users start downloading, listen closely to the feedback. Embrace the data and use it to keep innovating and adapting. The app store is a dynamic landscape and staying ahead of the curve is key. Keep your app fresh. Keep it relevant. Keep it at the forefront of user needs. That's the winning formula for long-term success. Of course, if you ever hit a roadblock, remember that Copper Digital is here to help. We've been there and done that, and we're happy to share our expertise. Let's turn your app into a mobile powerhouse together.